Guten Morgen, Year 5s. Herr Cooper here. Um, that's nearly the extent of my German I can remember for my GCSEs, other than telling you that I live in a semi-detached house and I have a dog called Izzy. Um, that I can... <laughs> um, but Fragrix has set you uh, some German here, uh, and I can help to an extent, but I think I'm just going to go through the task for you. Um, so, you can find it on our blog. Um, it's just the German underneath our weekly work there. Uh, and it did say on the timetable for the afternoon, along with the timetables, Rockstars, Education City, and anything else that you feel like you would like to go on. Um, you'll notice it says uh, the 14th of April, like I explained uh, on the blog. Uh, I, she sent it to me and I forgot to attach it in the other week, so it, it's here now. Uh, so, task here, she's given you a clip to have a look at. It's from one of her German friends, so it is only on Facebook. So like she said, she's very clearly pointed out, make sure an adult's nearby, just so you click on the link and it's all sorted. Um, and she's also put thank you to the grown-ups for, for just overseeing that. Um, but what she wants you to do, she wants you to listen to it and try and just pick out anything that you can understand. Now that's very real life skill. You ever learn a language or, or try to, you're not gonna be able to fluently listen to somebody unless you're very, very good at it. So you're gonna be able to pick things out Write anything down that you think you got from the clip. Okay, so listen to it. Oh, I think they said that, I think they said that. You write it either in German or, or in English, what you think they were talking about. And then watch it a second time and see if you can understand more. Okay, do you spot any cognates, anything that sound the same? Did you recognise any of the questions being asked? So it's, 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 it's almost like skim reading, but it's with your ears. So what did you pick up just from listening to it once or twice? Um. And then, underneath, on the next page, you've got a summary of the text. And she's put underline and highlight. Obviously, we can't do that, but we can we can write them down, can't we? So, write any nouns. Can you remember how you spot German nouns? Highlight the cognates. So, highlight words that are very similar. So, she's got an example here. Opa, grandpa. Cognates, remember, sound similar. There's loads in German. That's why German is such a good language to learn. House is house. Dog is hunt, sounds like hound. Um, so, and then use Google Translate to to look up any unknown words in this text. So, it's all there for you. Um, so have fun doing a little bit of German there. Uh, I hope you enjoy. Um, oh, well, I better do our, our German thing, hadn't I? Auf Wiedersehen, auf Wiedersehen, auf Wiedersehen, auf Wiedersehen, auf Wiedersehen, auf Wiedersehen, auf Wiedersehen. There we go. Uh, you do it a lot better than I do. But enjoy your fives, and I'm sure Miss uh, Frau Griggs will be very grateful for you for just ticking over with your German as well. Auf Wiedersehen! <laughs>